nothing you can't do. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Well, I am doing a tutorial on this look that will be in the next uh, slide or clip. I basically, I'm just on a no lash, uh, well I call it no lash thing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really trying to just wear makeup without putting on lashes because the average everyday woman does not have lashes. So, you know, I just wanted to create some looks that, you know, just are not too hard and not too um, high level to accomplish. You can do this to go out. You can do this to stay at home. I mean, with the panoramic going on, I mean, where, where are we really going? But some of us are still going out. And so you can actually rock a, a fabulous look without lashes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So this is just a simple look. I don't want to call it a soft glam because I have glitter going on all up in there, you know, and I do have very small hooded eyes. You know, the way I will apply makeup may be a bit different from those that have more lid space. And uh, it is just what it is. So if you have hooded eyelids and they also have small eyelids, you really should tune into my channel because I will be doing a lot of looks that you know, are suitable for eyelids that are hooded and small at the same time. And you can still look good with no lashes. I am Beauty ETC. Thank you for coming to my channel if I didn't mention it before. Please subscribe to my channel. And in, later in a later, later, later video, I will be discussing my long hiatus from YouTube. But for now, kindly enjoy the music. I don't know if I'm going to do a voiceover, but I think I am. Um, I'm easing back into YouTube. So it's like I'm learning everything all over again. Okay. So just bear with me and follow me on this journey. Uh, and you know, let us, let us, let us fellowship together. Okay. If you like me, if you like what, you know, if you just like what you see, just press the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. Leave a comment, like the video. That will really encourage me. So I think I've said enough. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you stop by again for the next video. Toodles and have a great time. Hello guys. Um, fresh clean face. That is the Laura Mercier primer. And I will be using also the MAC liquid Illuminizer or highlighter to give me some glow. I'll be using the NARS Soft Matte Foundation on top of that. I like to glow up my face before I put in those products. In this clip, I forgot to put in this MAC Paint Pot. This is in Painterly. I like to put this in my laugh lines, as you can see. That prevents the foundation from setting settling into my laugh lines. I have prominent laugh lines. So that's supposed to have gone in before my foundation, but hey, it's all right. You can make mistakes and fix it. Now I'm doing my brows. I'm doing my brows after my foundation. I'm using the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I think that's what it's called. I love this little baby. It's awesome. I love to do brows after my foundation. It's just faster. This is the MAC 9 Pan Concealer Palette in Warm, I believe. And now I'm going in to prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. Putty Primer for the eyes. It is white in color. It is awesome. It keeps your eyeshadow on all day, all day, all day, all night. Yes. And then you just blend it in with the same blending brush that I used to blend out my concealer for my brows. This stuff is the business. Now I'm going into my eye work. I'm using the Plain in Makeup by Yolondo Artistry Vault eyeshadow palette. It is awesome. I love this palette. I love her palettes. They're very, most of them, well, all of them are pigmented, really. I don't have all of them, but the ones I have are quite pigmented and they have a plethora of colors. And it's just like a party when you're using the um, palette. Those three colors are my transition colors that I will be using to create uh, a transition first 
before I, ooh, I made a mistake here. But can you see that pigment? <laughs> it's a funny clip. Uh, I'm going in again to keep, you know, blending. I pat it in the color first, and then I will go in to blend the color with a bigger, slightly bigger brush. So you first pat the color in, and then you blend. I'm going to use that yellow for my brow bone as well just to make my brow bone more prominent. I have small eyes, so yes, I like to play with my brow bone and under my eye, eyelids. Uh, yes, and so we're just blending. We're blending, 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 blending away. And now I'm thinking of what color to use on right there on my eyelids under my transition color. And I think I settled for a purple color. Look, guys, in these videos, I just go with the flow. I don't have, I don't really have most times I just have fun and that's what makeup is about again I'm going in with the Tammy X Revolution palette it's an awesome palette and I'm only going to be using that shimmer pressed glitter um, color in silver for a little halo eye situation and that's all I'm doing right I love halo eyes for uh, small hooded eyes because it just kind of draws attention to your eyes which is what you want I'm going in to that yellow again in that um, other palette by Yolondo I'm putting it in the inner corner of my eyes just to draw attention to that area. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. It's all makeup. It can wash off. And now I'm tight lining. I'm basically lining my eyes. Just following the shape of my eyes. I don't really do wing, wings like that because, I, again, I have small eyes. You have to learn your face. Okay, now I'm going to conceal with the Born This Way by Too Faced Cosmetics to conceal. Focus, focus, focus. Yes. And I'm concealing. So guys, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. The weather has been huh, well. It's it's been having a, it's been having a period. It's been it's been crazy. Like it was really warm spring weather in Georgia, and then suddenly it just got cold. Like Thursday, Friday got cold. I'm going to blend that out with the Juvia's Place concealer. I cannot remember the number. I think it's 13. I don't know. But yeah, it just got cold and we had to turn on the heat in our house. Imagine that. We had to turn on the heat. That's weird. That's crazy. But it was that cold. It was 57 degrees in the house. It was freezing. I was sneezing. I needed tea in spring. Now I'm going to contour my face with the Black Radiance contour stick. Well, it's not a contour stick. It's a foundation stick. But I'm using it. It's a dark color. I'm using it to contour my face. That's right. Oh, I already contoured my face and I'm going to blend it in. Yes, I'm gonna blend it, blend it, blend it. So yeah, I don't know. Blend it, I'm doing my nose. I don't know if I should, so I still have my, my winter clothes. I don't know if I should, you know, switch it out yet. This weather, I don't I don't know what's gonna do the next day. But happy Good Friday, if that was yesterday. Um, it's Easter time for us. If you're a Christian, happy Good Friday. If you're not, happy weekend. <laughs> I'm blending it, the concealer out with a wet sponge. Uh, so we will be going to church tomorrow um, and we have just been you know remembering what the Lord has done for us it's just a time we we're supposed to remember that every day but today is just symbolic you know yeah okay so just blending 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 what are you guys up to this weekend now I am going into my Fenty Fenty fountain powder foundation in 330 to set that concealer under my eyes. I will also follow it up with a Laura Mercier um, loose setting powder in honey just to make sure that everything stays in place. That's it. Yes. And that just makes sure that everything doesn't move. I'm going to be using for this. You notice that I use the brush to put in the setting powder. But in this, for the second go round, I'm going to be using a the wet the same wet sponge. I love this sponge. This sponge is for, I think it's wet and wild. Or is it Elf? I can't remember, guys. But I think it's Elf. It is so soft, not even expensive. I'm going to define my lips now. This is the Maybelline liquid lip color in this color. <laughs> I don't remember the color, guys. <laughs> Forgive me, but you can play with any color. This is the Lime Crime lipstick. The only Lime Crime lipstick that I have in this orangey nude color. You can use any nude color that you have. It is fine. I'm going to be using both of them together. And then I'm going to follow it up 
with a gloss to marry everything together you don't have to it's just what i want to do i will also be defining my lips with concealer just to make sure everything is popping so i've defined my brows with concealer i define under my eyes with concealer and then i define my lips with concealer as well as you will see going forward it just makes the pout just it just makes it pull like just boom in your face like yes yes <laughs> That's right. You see that? You see that? You can, you know what? With this method, you could create a lip shape for yourself. Believe it or not, I do it for my clients all the time. You could create your own lip shape. I tell you, trust me. And then I'm, I first put the Maybelline liquid lipstick as a base and as a liner. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the gloss, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm blending, blending, blending. <laughs> All right. So now I am just cleaning. Yeah. Okay. I'm going with the gloss. That's right. I already said that earlier. That would just make everything look like one seamless color. If you don't like gloss, just if you don't like gloss, just blend it. I'm using a lip brush to apply the gloss. You can also use the butt end of any brush to do that. That just makes sure you don't. That makes. That, that you do that to make sure that you don't mess up the lip combo that you have on your lips do not do this this is the rare beauty liquid highlighter in some color i i should have put this before i powdered my face because now it will kind of make splotches on my face but it is what it is i fixed it but don't do that now i'm going in with a bronzer um the charlotte tuberry bronzer was what i did to set my contour now I'm going in, in with the Fenty powder foundation in 360 to powder all the areas that were not powdered, that do not have powder, just basically going up around my face. And I love this crayon case blush book. It is awesome. It has 18 blushes in it. If you don't have it, what are you waiting for? You should get it. I love that blush. It's very, very pigmented. That's that look you saw. Very awesomely, insanely pigmented. What? <laughs> If you're a makeup artist, if you don't, if you if you're a makeup enthusiast, if you just love makeup, you should have this in your collection. It's worth every penny. Look at that. I'm going in again to that color right there to create a color under my eyes, just to balance everything out, so that there's not only just color on the upper part of my eyes, but also under my eyes, guys. Yes. Okay. In this look, I don't have any lashes. I just didn't, you know. I just didn't want to wear lashes. I'm just blending everything in. Just making sure everything is blended. There are no harsh lines anywhere. Yes, 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 yes. Are you liking what you're seeing? I am going in to a uh, loose highlighter. It's what I'm using to put highlight in the middle of my, oh, in my inner corner. Now I'm going into setting sprays. That is the MAC Fix Plus. That was too fast. I don't even know what I use, but I'm just setting my face. 